be condemned. And we are telling you that you will threaten us with guns. You will threaten us with money. But we have the people of Kenya. We have the people of Kenya. I don't want to say much because time is much spent. There are my leaders here. I want to invite my brother and also my member in the Senate with whom we stand very strongly to support the people. The Senator for Nairobi, Senator Sifuna, who will invite the other leaders. I send this to Miguel. Asante sana. Asante sana. Uh, kanisa Kanisa Takatifu Katoliki. Kiongozi wangu Mheshimiwa Baba Raila Molo Odinga. Ker Maadulu ya Duong. Odungi Randa. Na waombolezaji wote ambao wamefika hapa kumsindikiza huyu shujaa tumsifu Yesu Kristu. Daima na milele vile mnavyojua na vile ambavyo mheshimiwa Edi amewaambia kwa majina naitwa Edwin Sifuna katibu mkuu wa chama cha ODM seneta wa kaunti ya Nairobi na naibu kiranja ya walio wachache ndani ya bunge la senate katika taifa la Kenya mheshimiwa baba Raila Molo Odinga nimetembea na wenzangu kutoka kwa national secretariat the national secretariat of ODM nataka tu wasimame mjue wako hapa wakiongozwa na executive director wetu mheshimiwa Odoro Mwen yuko hapa finance and administration director mtoto wenu wa hapa Migori mheshimiwa <laughs> Kawino alafu oh, unatoka Homa Bay kwa wanga simniambie ni huu sawa tuko hapa na Tony ambaye anatusaidia kwa mambo ya kisheria na bunge alafu papa Philip Tale ambaye anatusaidia na mawasiliano mheshimiwa Raila Odinga you know Oh, nimesahau Ben Musumbu yuko pale nyuma pia kiongozi wa vijana. Eh nimekuona ndugu yangu yeye anatusaidia wakati wa registration kwa membership. Thank you so much. Your Excellency, you know it has been the honor of my life to serve as, as your ST and as SG of this great party of ODM. In February of this year, I will be beginning my seventh year as SG of this party. Your Excellency, in this time I have had the honor and privilege of knowing the networks that you have built in this party across the country. And because I have a global view of the party, I can say here without fear of contradiction that Maka Bongo was the best county chair in ODM. Without blinking. Uyu jamaa, baba tumejuana na mwishuwa Maka Bongo wakati niko mwezi kama mbili ya matatu kama katibu mkuwa chama ulitokea hapa by election wakati mheshimiwa Ben Olocha me tuacha na ukanituma hapa tufanye campaign when you hear Edi speaking he is speaking from experience he knows it is impossible for you to introduce anything other than ODM in Nyanza he knows but he is now my friend and is a most strong supporter of ODM hata kunishinda kwa sababu ya experience baba nilifika hapa nikakutana na huyu mzee Makabongo wakati natoka Nairobi wananiambia uko sifuna obado atawapiga atawapiga sawa sawa nikafika kwa huyu mzee akaniambia akitupiga tutampiga hata yeye sifuna usiogope kitu hapa wakati ule ojilo yako ndio candidate wetu pindra huyu tulikuwa tunatembea na yeye tunazunguka huko kwa vijiji wanasema hakuna mtu atakufukuza sifuna kama kuna mtu alikuwa na heshimu chama na viongozi wa chama ni huyu mzee makabongo I used to arrive in Migori ukishuka gari yako namna hii unakuta chairman wa county ametembea na women leader ako na youth leader wake viongozi wa constituency ambaye mko pale anawaintroduce anasema hawa ndio viongozi wa hii constituency he had a lot of respect for this party and this man suffered because of his stand baba wakati mmoja unajua mali ya makabongo imeharibiwa sana gari lake hata wakati mmoja likateketezwa kijana yake mmoja aliingiliwa hapa na majambazi wakampiga vibaya sana lakini hakuna siku maka bongo ati alizimama akasema uu ati anaondoka chamani mimi nasikia uzuni sana kwa sababu maka bongo wamekufa kama hajaona ile safari ikitimia ambaye tulikuwa na ye katika hii chama langu ni kusema tu mungu waweze kumrehemu amweke maali pema peponi kwa sababu maka bongo was a strong man this is one of the only chairs in the country excellency i used to wake up in the morning 
watu wa media hawa wananipigia simu sivuna is it true that in migori this is the party position nauliza ala mnatoa wapi hiyo wanasema makabongo ameaddress hizi saa hii nasema kama ni yeye amesema that is the position and baba utakumbuka hata wakati mmoja ukaniuliza kulikuwa kunatakiwa mtu aende South Africa ku observe uchaguzi ya South Africa tukasema kwa hawa chairman tunaweza tuma nani ambaye anaweza kuwakilisha ODM mtu wa South Africa akikutana na mtu ajue huyu ni ODM wewe ungetuma nani he hey, yeye ndio tulituma Afrika Kusini kuwakilisha chama ya ODM baba huyu jamaa tumetembea na yeye hapa tumefanyia hiki chama kazi and i am very proud that today we are burying him in odm colors kitu ambacho kinaniuzunisha nilipata ripoti usiku ya kwamba hata wale ambao walikuwa namsumbua makabongo akiwa hai wanajaribu kumfuata kumsumbua hata wakati makabongo amefariki baba wewe fikiria mazishi ya mtu wa heshima kama haya usiku watu wanatumwa hapa ati na polisi wakuje watoe ili hema ambalo tumeweka hapa kwa ajili ya kumheshimu na kumwenzi kiongozi wetu huyu I want to say this as I said in Kisi. We condemn in the strongest words possible. Those people who are drunk with power now, they think the police will be with them forever. Wanatumia polisi kuhujumu wengine katika taifa hili. Kule Kisi, mtu amesimama kama huyu governor anagawa watoto form za basal. Wewe unakuja na polisi umetoa wengine mpaka Nairobi. Unaanza kupiga risasi kwa wananchi tunavyozungumza sasa kuna watu ndani ya kisi hospitali wako na majeraha ya risasi vile ndugu yangu edi amesema hapa wewe sio the first ps of internal security tumeona hii Kenya bwana Raymond Omolo mimi nitakutaja you are not a, you are not even a tenth of the most he is not in the top 5 the most powerful interior CSS sisi tulikuwa tunakuwa bwana tunasikia watu wanaitwa sijui Ezekaya Oyuki hata wewe mwenyewe ukitaja baba yako anaingia kwa miwa wewe ukisema hiyo jina sasa huyu jamaa anafikiria atatisha nani tuko na anaitwa county commissioner hapa nataka ni mtaje ndio ajue tumemjua eh anaitwa nani nilikuwa nimeandika jina yake hapa Gitonga huyu Gitonga baba wakati wa maandamano ameumiza watu wetu hapa sana na yeye ndiye anatumika pamoja na mjumbe wa hapa. Mjumbe wa hapa wa ODM. Kuja kutufungua na kuvuruga watu. Mimi ile kitu nataka kuambia rafiki yangu Paul Abor kwa sababu ni rafiki yangu. Mheshimiwa ukifanya uamuzi kwamba umechoka na sisi tuache kwa amani tafadhali. Sisi hatuna ubaya na mtu yote. Hatuna ubaya na mtu yote lakini kuleta polisi kukuja kuvuruga mazishi kama haya ni kitu ambacho sisi hatutakubali. Baba wacha nizungumze mambo mawili kisha niketi. Unajua katika taifa hili letu wakati pahali tumefika, ni lazima tuambiane ukweli. Mimi ni wakili, ulinituma pale kisi tukatoa statement kuhusu utumizi mbaya wa polisi, wanamhara sisi Simba Arati na tumesema Simba Arati sio governor tu, he is the national vice chairperson of ODM. So as a party we have a stake in his life. And we have said if anything happens to Simba Arati the people responsible we will name them number one, honorable Osoro the member of parliament for South Mugirango we will hold you personally liable for anything happening to our vice chair person huyu mwingine anaitwa IG of police yeye siku hizi ni kiziwi yeye siku hizi asiki aoni wewe fikiria tumeandaa birthday ya baba tu tumeweka keki kwa barabara watoto wamekuja kina mama wamekuja wanaimba tu kitu ya furaha wewe ushaisikia mtu anapiga keki tia gas <laughs> eh hii unga tu unachanganya na mayai na sukari inakadhirisha ruto kwa sababu watu wamefurahi ati baba amefika miaka tisa huyu mtu ameingia baridi this is the most insecure government baba because they know they don't have legitimacy leo hii ukisoma magazeti alinipatia 4 billion shillings ati anafanya renovation state house hakuna renovations anafanya huu jamaa amesikia ipo siku not in the two distant future wa Kenya wataingia kwa hiyo nyumba sasa ile kitu anafanya baba nimeambiwa anachimba handaki unajua handaki kwa kizungu wanaita banka ati ndio siku ile wa Kenya watafika kwa gate yeye atajificha huko ndani hiyo ndio pesa anatumia kufanya at renovation state house wewe ushaiona state house ikikuwa na mahali ina shida ya ya kuhitaji repairs He? na anatuambia anajenga affordable housing affordable housing ni kujijengea handaki ndani ya nyumba yako eh 
hiyo nyumba haikutoshi marais wangapi wameishi hapo ndani leo hii wewe unataka kuongeza ghorofa ifike wapi ukilala usiku kuna mahali inavuja ndio natuambia utumie 4 billion wewe wacha kutuadaa bwana wacha kutuadaa kwa hivyo sisi tumesema tutasimama imara na wakenya na baba wewe ujue kwamba hapa migori uko na watu ambao wanamsimamu usidanganywe na hii kelele kidogo kidogo unasikia hapa i want to say thank you to my brother edi for what you did last night these people cannot scare us ukiogopa hao watu ndio watakukanyagia chini vile ulilipigia simu usiku wa malame wewe na pindra hapa mkakuja mkasema liwe liwalo tutamzindikisha huyu ndugu yetu kwa heshima si imefanyika imefanyika ama haijafanyika kwa hivyo tusikubali kutishwa na mtu yeyote sisi wote ni wakenya tuko na haki ya kuwa katika taifa hili na sisi tutaendelea na msimamo huo kwa hayo mengi wacha nichukue fursa hii ni mkaribishe kinara wa walio wachache ndani ya bunga le la kitaifa mheshimiwa upio wa ndaye alafu ataniitia mwenyekiti wa chama mheshimiwa badi thank you so much haya 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 Asante sana Katibu Mkuu at the church uh, baba and the family of Makabungu na wananchi watu wa Migori ya Mjambo Hamujambo tena uh, because baba is here I will not say much but I've got two things only la kwanza kabisa ankodu Ote Markuyo Momia Kodwa Jume Mokadik Mbunge Maseme Menja Komardul Mheshimiwa James Nikal Mbunge Mandhiwa Mheshimiwa Owino Wood Chief Tutenda Molo Bende Ne Edo Zekelu Mosmare Ne Nikaya Vito Bina Rubi Kuche Wachi Moro Marari Iyo Adwa Monda Wachi Just as a follow up to what my colleagues have said ni kaono waiko a true patriot